Alright, so I'm going to be talking about the mod, Random Starting Dungeon, version 1.0. I think, which is a fairly self-explanatory mod and what it does, basically allowing you to, from the start of the game with a new character, start, instead of in Privateer's Hold, you can be plopped into any dungeon within the game, essentially, and start your adventure there instead of always in Daggerfall, the region of Daggerfall. As well as it is a very customizable mod in terms of where you choose climate-wise and dungeon-type-wise to spawn. So, anyway, let's get to it. Here we have a brand new character, and this mod will kick in as soon as you press OK and go through the little videos. So, let's do that. And... Initially, this prompt will pop up, which will ask you, are you sure you want to uh, start in a random dungeon, basically? And if you press no, it'll just, the mod won't function, essentially, for this part, and you'll just be dropped in Privateer's Hold like normal. If you press yes, there will be a few moments of unresponsiveness as the mod does its uh, filtering process and such, which takes quite a while considering how many locations there are in the game to go through, but... We'll press yes, see what it brings us. And then after it gets done with its stuff, you'll get the normal pop-ups and such that you would at the start of a new game. And when you are done with that, you will notice that you are in a... You'll be dropped in a spot inside of a dungeon that is a valid quest marker location. So you'll be dropped in a place that if you were to get a quest that generates a objective within a dungeon, you will be dropped at one of those quest objectives. Some of the quest objective areas I filter out, as some of them are completely, basically a inaccessible trap if you are put there in that method. So I had to filter those out, as well as some ones that I found especially cruel, such as starting in water behind a locked door with enemies inside. You could still start in water, but I think they're much more reasonable. But often, you'll be dropped in some place like this, some random room or something like that. Sometimes there'll be enemies around. Often there will be actually, but yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you could handle those enemies, I suppose, if you, f if you plan on getting out of the dungeon legitimately or not. In this case, a lot of the times, especially for testing, I don't. As you can see, dropped in a, a relatively small dungeon, all things considered. Sometimes there'll be a dungeon such as this, possibly, like a pretty small one, where there will be no valid quest objectives to drop you at. So when in that case, it will instead drop you right in front of the exit to that dungeon. Doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it can happen. So we are at the dungeon exit, and let's see where it dropped us. Well, it appears it dropped us in Cambria at the dungeon Greenford's Hold. That's kind of neat, I suppose. Not a place that I've really been to very often. Say if you're not satisfied with the dungeon you've been dropped off at with this character, you don't have to create a completely brand new character. You could actually... I have some built-in console commands that you could use. You can find them with the help command. In this example, the command will be manual random teleport. This command will just basically what happened at the very start of the game. It'll do that filtering process, but it won't actually have to do the filtering process again in the, in the same session, so it'll be much quicker. With those same parameters you have in your settings, it'll drop you in another random dungeon. So, let's do that. As you can see, probably not the best place to start, uh, <laughs> but... That's why Kill All is nice. Now, this is a very small dungeon, only one module large. And where did it send us this time? Oh, wow. Nice. Bettany. The Island of Bettany. Ruins of the Hold of Wickcroft. Interesting. I never really have gotten sent to this place very often. Pretty... <laughs> Definitely would be a cool place to get sent to at the very start, I would say. I like the islands. And let's do it again. Why not? Now, this is a moderately large dungeon, actually. But, tell it to exit. Ooh, 
sent us to the Rothgarian Mountains. Let's see how far away. Or let's see. Wow. <laughs> this. Now this is not some place I've ever been to, that's for sure. The very, basically near the very edges of the map. Rothgarian Mountain Ruins of the Old Ash Ashham Shack. Wow. That is pretty far out, that is for sure. All right. One more time. See, I could do this all day. I really like <laughs> just how big, just how big Daggerfall is in terms of its scale. Just being able to just go to all these random locations within the game world. Always very interesting. I'm getting some nice exteriors for these dungeons here too. Shalgora. The Stronghold of Yamtan. I think that is a good showcase of how that feature, or the, how that function works generally. And I think you get the idea of what the main purpose of this mod is, I guess. From that, I will now show the settings which can allow one, if they wish to, to filter quite a bit where they are sent when they start a new character as well as for that character, or at least that session, when they do what I've been doing with the console, the manual teleporting, the settings will allow you to fine-tune, basically, where the possible locations you can be sent to in the game world based on certain parameters. So, let's get to that. So, here are the mod settings. Um, may look a little bit daunting at first, but it is only one page. What some of these do? Quest dungeons. This is automatically turned off by default, but basically if you put this on, it'll allow you to potentially be spawned in any of the various quest dungeons of the game, such as Privateer's Hold, that tower, I'm forgetting the name now, you know, any of the various quest dungeons you can spawn in if you have this enabled, but by default, disabled. Isolated Island Dungeons. So what this means is basically it could spawn you on islands that are not populated by some forms of towns, and these are fairly rare. I I think it only counts a few places, but there is a few, such as on the island uh, Sai Biades, however the name is, just off the coast of Sentinel, pretty much. That place only has one dungeon. It is a barbarian stronghold. Very weird island, but there's nothing else there, so it would be fairly difficult to start there and actually kind of thrive, or you'd have to swim all the way back, basically. So, it's kind of an interesting thing to potentially start there, that kind of island. Then there's populated island dungeons, which these are more, much more of a viable kind of thing, I would think. Basically, places like Bethany, as well as in some of the regions, they have little islands off their coast that are still a part of that same region that have dungeons on them. Basically those, but they have houses and they have towns on those small islands, so much more viable place to start without having to swim all the way across or whatever. The river, the seas. These other ones are, all the game's areas have a different biome associated with them. Basically this list here, stuff like desert, hot desert would be like the southern parts where like the Alakir Desert and such. Woodlands, haunted woodlands, mountain woods would be like around the regions where Daggerfall is and such. Those kinds of things. Like, there's a climate map somewhere. I might show that. They mostly make sense, but depending on what mods you have, it could have more of an effect on how difficult or easy your start is, such as mods like climates and calories, where uh, temperature does matter. And then all of these settings, which are the various, all of the possible dungeon types that are in the game, and all of them are initially uh, enabled. The only one that is by default disabled is for cemeteries. These all encompass the cemeteries that the, the small dungeon crypts, whatever, that you are all automatically discovered on the map that I think they have that dark red shade to them. So if you want to be able to spawn in one of those, like as a, I don't know, as like a vampire <laughs> kind of thing, you can do that. But by default, it's disabled just because, I don't know, I think it's more interesting to start in the more bigger dungeons and such by default. But if you wish to, you could change that. And all the other ones, you could change them. So completely free to 
only allow yourself to start in, say, a prison-type dungeons or something like that, or Ruined Castle, or Spider Nest, or Giant Stronghold, anything. There is one caveat, though, with this filter system, this, this very customizable kind of system here, is that you can have situations where you might filter too strictly. Say, if you only have deserts enabled, and you also only enable, say, for that dungeon type, Spider's Nest. I think it did not work this time, which is what I wanted. I guess it doesn't give a pop-up. So, if you get in the situation where it'll only send you to Privateer's Hold, or it won't send you anywhere when you use that, that just means that your filter restrictions are too strict. So, you have to change them. And that, as we saw, a fairly rare case, you will have to change them to something less strict. But yeah, that's basically all I had to say about the mod, is that it is mostly there to kind of simulate somewhat of a roguelike kind of feel, I guess, is that, you know, I got really, really tired of starting in Privateer's Hold all the time, always starting in the same region, Daggerfall. So, you know, I decided to make this one. I don't know, I mean, I think it works for its purpose, at least. On this particular mod, I think I'm fairly happy with what it its function is. Currently, I think it, it does what it needs to do. I do have a, f a future mod that is planned that I think is going to be called Start Options that is going to work similar to those mods from, say, Oblivion and Skyrim, the, I guess, Live Another Life sort of mods, where instead of just having to start in a dungeon, you could choose to start in, um, based on questions or whatever. You could choose to start in a city as a, in a palace, a specific city in a palace, or a, a, a random hamlet or farmstead, whatever, something like that, instead of just, just dungeons. I mean, I think this works for what it needs to do, but it'd be interesting to be able to start in various other kind of situations with different starting items and spells and background, maybe, and such. But for right now, this is Random Starting Dungeon, version 1.0. This mod, I think, goes particularly well with mods such as Climates and Calories and Travel Options or various other travel-related kind of mods out there. But yeah, this is Random Starting Dungeon version 1.0. I hope to work on another similar mod in the future, but for right now, this is, this is what it is. Starts you in a random dungeon at the start of a game where you could use the console to uh, do this as well. Much more varied way to start your game in a different region that you might have never even considered before. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.